Getting models together for a painting like this can be a challenge. Using only one model would save me time, effort, and money. But everyone in the painting can't look the same. How can you use just one face for multiple characters? I'll show you what I did to paint this illustration using just myself. So quickly, I'm just going to establish where the faces need to go. Um, I already worked out the rough sketch. I'll do it as a vine charcoal. I'll get the rough idea here and then I'll go back in with a graphite pencil and I'll show you how I um, start working out the faces. Then I'll go into it with paint and you'll see the um, final product. So my next step now is just to start showing you how I go from this to uh, faces that don't look like mine. Uh, I'll leave this one for later. And even this one right now, the little face doing this, this is gonna be a man right here. But the more interesting ones is this and this. This is a young lady, this is an older lady. Um, and these get a little more tricky. So my first thing, establish my shadows a little bit better. And at this point, I really squint down a lot at the actual image. This helps me determine the point where the uh, shadow really seems to cut off into the light. And what I'm doing now is I'm trying to abstract abstractify, if I can say that, for lack of a better term, um, the, the shape of the sh shadow. So I'm trying to look at it like it's a two-dimensional flat object. If I don't follow these steps and I'm trying to actually change this face and make this face very different, it would be very easy to end up wasting a lot of time uh, painting something that just doesn't look right at all. It doesn't, it looks, you know, it can look cartoonish or just, it can look just stylistically very incorrect. And when working on an illustration, it is usually, it's vital to be um, very sensitive to your time. I think one of the easiest things I can do is actually Give him a nice little button nose, which I do not have in the slightest. I have large eyes, he will have small eyes. Some kind of squinty eyes. Anything, anything to give a sense of somebody else. Sometimes I make the cheeks really big, but I'm going for a thinner person. Once you have the face, then you just, you know, play plastic surgeon. Just alter things around a little bit. Don't get too dramatic because, um, at first anyways, because it's easy to let it run away from you. Changing hair color can be a bit more tricky. Um, when you have to do it, really suggest you find some examples of um, the other hair colors in the similar lighting um, and try to work off that. It requires you to kind of skip back and forth a bit between two pictures. And people who are older are actually a lot easier because um, of all these defining qualities like wrinkles and such. People with beards even more easy. That'll work. Let's get to the next one. And this face is mostly in the shadow, so it's um, just be a lot easier.
Thank you.